Oh, that's mega impressive. Now, in recent weeks, we have seen a whole host of products released by Callaway. Their new Rogue range has had everything in it. Drivers, fairway woods, irons, hybrids. It's got a lot. But there was one club that has been overlooked in the last few months that I didn't even know it existed. I seen a brief snippet of this thing on maybe Instagram, a sneak of a picture. Didn't think it was being released in the UK. Walks into four golf today. They're on the shelf. I knew nothing about them. And like I said, I do question whether you know anything about them either. The thing is, what is it and is it any good? Right, so this club, it's not quite a fairway wood. It's not quite a hybrid. It was designed with the help of Phil Mickelson. It's, the, it's supposedly for the better players. They call it a utility wood. It's the apex utility wood. And what I want to know is, why don't I know a great deal about it? And like I said, is it any good? Available in 19, 21, and back down the other end, 17 degrees. So it's certainly got not a great deal of loft on it. Why would you use it? When would you use it? And why aren't Callaway making a big song and dance about this thing? So when I first seen this club this morning, I've got to say from a shelf appeal perspective, I think it looks really, really interesting. I am this kind of uh, a fan of a, I, th I think anything that seems to be in between sizes, if you like, because I like the mini driver. And I'm also not a massive fan of hybrids, don't like overly big fairway woods and this sits absolutely perfect visually in between the two for me shorter length of shaft bit of mass in the head it just looks oozes a bit of um confidence if you like at a dress i'm going to hit balls off the tee and off the deck because i think it's really interesting in terms of um its flexibility what kind of distance are we going to get 19 degrees is what i'm going to try here this morning that could say 17 could be a you know that's certainly almost going down to the realms of sort of five wood and that 21 degrees again a bit more loft we'll try one off the deck first of all the interesting thing it does it's got the kind of everything you'd expect in the apex range it's got it's got jailbreak in the face we've got some tungsten weighting the tungsten weighting in, interestingly for me is placed in a very much in the cg very much in a neutral position this isn't a club that's CG right at the back to help with launch, that kind of thing. This is very much a sort of player's uh, setup, if you like. Well, what does that impact in terms of performance for the likes of me? At 19 degrees, there's quite a, although there's not a lot of loft in terms of its number, there's a lot of loft in terms of visibility. And what I mean by that is they've done a really almost strange job in the way the face looks. It's, um, it's almost cut into it from where I'm looking now. At such an angle, that it looks to present a lot more loft than the 19 degrees suggests. I think that's a really positive thing because, as you know, having a bit more loft in hand just gives you that bit more confidence. But like I said, I'm not sure how they've done it. I don't know if it's a lighting thing, but it's, uh, or whether it's chamfered in some way, but it certainly looks to show a lot more loft than uh, the 19 degrees suggests. Anyway, let's try one off the deck first of all, because with this kind of hybrid fairway wood crossover, it's certainly uh, where you'd be looking to put it into play. That's a great ball to start with. I would ask Hannah to uh, confirm that, but I know you're not looking. Um, but it was a great, great launching ball. Always interests me, if you're putting a club in the bag, I like to know how versatile it is. In other words, you know, how we talked about three woods the other week. I think in many average golfers' bags, three woods are almost redundant because the amount of times you use them is very, very limited. This is a club to me, and depending on, again, which loft you went for, I'd be tempted between that 19 or the 21. You've got flexibility, so straight away off a tight lie on the mat in here, it's picked that ball up nice and easy. We've got a good ball flight on it and plenty of distance as well. Oh, and again. That's really two good shots to start with, to be fair. Very positive start. Like I said, easy to pick it up off the mat, feels really good, looks really good at address. I'm so shocked that Callaway aren't making a bigger deal out of this one. What we're going to do is we're going to try and hit one big raking hook over the top and see if we can get to uh, carry that. <laughs> the shape on that hand. Yeah. You carry it. Has it carried it? Yeah. It's 
just about got over, hasn't it? Wow. Oh, that's mega impressive. So he should have picked a ball fight up from there, but the interesting thing for me, we just brought the club outside for a second or two because we have got a tight lie off the mat. It's interesting for me, if you're gonna use a utility in particular, you'd wanna use it from a sort of uh, a, a nestle down in the rough. And it's not necessarily nestled down here, but it's a real live situation, if you like, from off the turf. Dead easy to pick up. Just took a little bit of uh, turf before or ground before ball there, but you've seen the ball flight, and again, just reiterate, how easy it is to get that ball airborne with this thing. So another tick in the box for this uh, Apex Utility Wood. Right, so what are your thoughts on this? Tell me, uh, I'm gonna put this in so we can hit some off of uh, a short tee. Um, have you heard about this club? Did you know anything about it? Um, that's one question. And second question is, if you haven't or you do, or whatever the answer is, what do you think of it? Do you think that, um, this is something we'll see a little bit more of in terms of future ranges, this crossover between a hybrid and a fairway wood. My opinion is, yes, we should see more of these type of clubs. I think it's a far better option and a great mix up of the two. Now, I've got to say, this has got to be one of the most interesting products that I've never heard anything about. I just find it fascinating in terms of where it sits, its profile, how it, I was gonna say how easy it is to use because like I said, this is definitely categorized as a better player's club, whatever that means. But I had no problems in terms of the way it launches, uh, both off of the mat and off of the tee. I'm still baffled as to why this utility would, there's no big noise about it. Honestly, I'm so confused, but also mega impressed. You have a look at some numbers and see what it did in terms of performance. Uh, one consideration is, it's just come to me, is do you ever think that kind of like Callaway are not shouting about this because it interferes with their rogue range or, and they don't want to detract attention from it? Okay, well in terms of summary, this one is very, very simple. Well, the first thing I'd say is Callaway, why haven't you made a big deal of this? I think it's a club that could appeal to a lot of golfers. In particularly those who really don't get on with hybrids, there's a lot of golfers out there who are just not keen on them at all in terms of their shape. Um, and I suppose, again, people who don't like the size and mass that a sort of fairway wood brings, it just sits perfectly in the middle. I would dismiss it as being a player's club. I think it was, you know, I mean, it's an easy to use, easy to launch club. Um, here's the numbers I got off the deck and, <coughs> excuse me, off the tee. The differences are exactly what you'd expect them to be. Off the deck, we got a lower launching ball. Maybe strike just a little bit more inconsistent in terms of the carry distances. And then on the right-hand side of the screen, you can see the numbers that I achieved off the uh, tee. Again, nice launch, nice carry. For me personally, I'd like to see a club it in that sort of end of the bag that launches a little bit higher. And I think that if I opted for the 21 degree, from all the testing I've done over this last few years, I think the carry distance wouldn't be that different. I think it would launch slightly higher. I often struggle to generate the club head speed to justify the sort of those, those small or short differences in terms of strength of loft down that sort of uh, lower end of the bag. So for me, I'll be looking at the uh, 21 degree hybrid, hybrid utility wood. That's the category this is called now. We're forever inventing new names for these clubs. But ultimately, just another really good club really useful to have in the bag and I think the more options we've got are that kind of well for me that 200 yard where I go from my kind of four iron into the next club in the bag the more options we've got in what is a real difficult category and area distance to fill the better so Callaway I feel like you should be appealing to the masses on this one I think there's a lot of golfers out there including you who will probably like the performance that you see out of this thing so uh my final thing I would say is go out there and give it a go. Do not dismiss this one. And uh, like I said, and I keep reiterating the point, Callaway, make a bit more noise about this one. It is a really impressive club and uh, one that I really wouldn't uh, be put off putting in the bag myself. Anyway, that is us done. I say us because Penny sat down here patiently. She's about to jump on the table. 
Uh, we're both uh, finished. We're all done. Here she comes to make a quick appearance. Right, I'll see you all soon. Bye for now. <clears throat>